Oh, hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Timbo Took, and this is the joy of painting Middle Earth, a time when we come together and paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer. And maybe we'll paint a scary one a time or two. That can be quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to paint right along with me. So if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. Alright, alright, and welcome back to the Joy of Painting Middle Earth. I'm happy you've joined me. Now you can see we've got a white canvas today, and we've prepared that the way the Blue Wizard taught us how. You know, the Blue Wizard, Bob Ross the Blue. That's right, he taught us to put down that magic white, a thin coat of that magic white on our canvas to get it ready to go, and we're going to paint this a wet on wet technique. Now you can see I only have Oh, I only have two colors today. I have a few different piles, but that's just in case I make one messy. All I have is ivory black and titanium white. That's right. I had some other colors that were getting low, and I thought, you know what? I'd like to show you how to do a simple painting just using two colors, black and white. That's right. As my grandpappy Took used to say, he'd say, oh, Timbo, the less you have, the more you can create. Oh, and he was right about that. That's right, we can be more creative even using less colors. And that way it'll show you you can start oil painting, you don't have to get to everything. You can just grab two colors and go. So we've got our black, our ivory black here. We're going to do some clouds. It's going to be gray clouds today. That's right, we're going to be in the Misty Mountains. So I'm just going to take some of my, bla my black and put it right there and grab some of this white. There we go. Now we're just pulling those together and we're just making a dark cloud color. Oh, and we have some white on the canvas already, so it'll mix in with that. So we just get this gray. Oh, and it might be a little too gray, but oh, that's all right. We'll mix it on there and see what happens. We'll just come up and let's go in. We've just got some gray clouds up here. And you see it lightens out when it touches that that magic white that's on the canvas, it mixes together even more. There we go, bring it down. Just bring that together. Some of these gray clouds. And you don't, you don't smush it all together. You leave some spots that are light and bright, and some that are a little darker, and then you just mix that in. So very quickly, we're just mixing that up putting that on our canvas, and we're creating these different clouds here. Oh, just bring that across right there on top. There we go. Now that we've got this, we're going to have mountains and things in here, so we don't need to come real low on our canvas. We'll just leave it like that. And that gives us some different, some different values and things. So let's clean off this brush and we'll come back and we'll soften out those clouds. So let's, we clean our brush and odorless paint thinner we've got back here in our bucket. There we go. And then we're painting inside the hobbit hole, so I'm not gonna blast Oh, I'm not going to blast paint thinner everywhere by knocking it on there. But I have a rubbish bin right down here. So I'm just going to knock the Sauron, beat the Sauron out of the brush. There we go. Right in there. Now we have a clean, mostly dry brush. And what we can do is we can come back into this painting and let's soften this out now. So just lightly, we're lightly going to lift this. Soften some of that out. And you know what? We can even come to one of our blender brushes. That's right, we're going to be using our blender brushes today because we're painting the misty mountains. Just a nice mountain scene with some trees. You'll see, you'll see. So we have this blender brush, nice and soft, and we can just soften out these clouds. These aren't going to be hard, hard clouds today. They're just going to be soft, and we just do that. We just soften these out. 
just making circles with that blender brush. And you can come back. If you wanted to put in some darker clouds, you could. If you wanted to put some white clouds in there, maybe some misty clouds floating by. Oh, we could do that too. We could do that too. But you're just doing this softly. This is a very soft brush. You're barely touching it to the canvas. And you're just pulling it around. And that'll give you those colors there. There we go, there we go. Just bring that down. Like I said, this will be misty down here. We'll have some mountain tops peeking out, and we'll have some trees that we paint in there. There we go. Oh, and the misty mountains are a very, very important part of our story. A lot happens in those misty mountains. Oh, for one, Rivendell. That's right, Rivendell is, is nestled right in a valley of the misty mountains right at the edge of it, on the western edge of those misty mountains. There we go. That just gives us that soft gray sky. If we want to put a spot where there's some light back there, what we can do is let's just clean off this bristle, this blender brush here. Now these blender brushes are very soft and they also soak up a lot of your oil paint or your paint thinner. So just be careful when you do that. You don't have to dunk it way in because it's just the ends of it, just the tips of it, but it will soak in quite a bit of that. There we go. Now we've got that dried off. Let's just go, let's go in, grab just some straight titanium white there. And we're just going to see these light spots here. Maybe there's a spot in the clouds. It's just a little brighter. Just do that. Maybe one over here. Just putting some of those bright spots in. There we go. And that can tame some of that gray. And just knock off a little more of that. So there we have that. Let's just come back and just go right down to your rubbish bin. Knock off, knock off that paint down there. And then we'll come back and we'll soften that out. So we come back. We come up and just kind of pull this up. Just pulling it in one direction like that. And then we soften it. Once we pull it out, you can soften that up. You don't want to do it too much because then it'll just become all the same color there. But that just gives you, that just gives you the thought that, oh, maybe that's a thinner part of the cloud and you have some light showing through. There we go. And you can come back. You can take your time. Take your time and just do that. You can put lots of those in. But for today, we're just gonna we're just gonna go on to the mountains now. That's all we're doing for the clouds today. We'll be back to this blender brush in just a minute. All right. Now I've got this ivory black here. We've got a little bit. We don't want it straight ivory black. We'll darken it up, but we do want that pretty dark. There we go. Just pull that out. Now let's come back up. We'll put a peak right up there. So let's put that in. So we just get a thin row right on our palette knife. And this peak is just sticking out of the mist. Sticking out of the mist here, comes right down this way. There we go. Maybe that was a little too boring on this side. Let's give them a let's give them a little more personality there. There we go. We wouldn't want you to think that it would be too easy to climb that guy. There we go. And then just pull that down. Just leave that edge there. Pull that right down in the canvas. If you need to darken it up a little bit more, do that. There we go. 
as I said, we have that gray and that white, that magic white that's on the canvas there. And we're just going to bring this on just like that. Right back that way. There we go. Just pull that down. Now let's come, let's come back to our two inch brush. We'll just take this brush and we'll just pull this mountain. Oh, that one might have been a little too wet still. Just knock some of that off. Just pull this down. There we go. Oh, and I got a little messy there. Didn't watch my edge enough. That's okay, that's okay. Now we're gonna come, and we're gonna come, we're gonna decide this side may be a little lighter than this side. So what we'll do, we'll come to some of that ivory black. We're gonna put in our rocks. Now normally we do dark and then we'll highlight it, but this is pretty gray, so. We're just going to put this down. There we go. And then maybe we'll come back with another shade right on top of that. But this, you're just letting that paint break right off your palette knife as you come down. There we go. And it makes, it makes your mountain things happen in there. There we are. Now this other side will be a little lighter. Not too much, just a little. It's still a very dark, cloudy day, so we don't have a lot of highlights on those mountains. So we're just gonna come down this way. Just bring that in. There we go. Bring that over that way. Now we're just gonna grab a little bit of this white. We're gonna make a lighter, just that lighter highlight color there. And we'll just put that on that front face. Just bring that down, just to differentiate between the back side of the mountain and the front side there. There we go. There we are. And this may be a little too dark back there. So let's, there we are. We'll just give just some other color right in there just so it's not so dark. All right. Now that we have that, let's just come, let's come back to our blender brush here. So we're just gonna take some of our titanium white. Put it on that brush and we're just going to come to the base of the mountain here. We're just going to tap this out. And now we're just going to bring that mist up. We're just getting this. The bottom of this mountain is lost here in the mist. Right there, right there. Just circle it about, 
circle it about there we go and it might be a little too bright over there so go back to some of this gray let's put some gray on there we'll just do that bring that down this way and then we circle that in we don't want we need some of that variation in there there we go and if you have to go back to some of that grayish color there It'll get lost in the bottom of this mountain here as the mist comes up. Just let that mist rise up the mountain. Just lift it up. Lift it up. That'll give you the appearance of it getting lost. Now these blender brushes are known to shed. You can, you can leave it in there if you want or you can scrape it out. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you like. There we go. And that gives you that mist that that mountain just disappears into. If you have to go back to your rubbish bin, just knock off some of the paint that you're picking up because it can start to get pretty thick in there. There we go. Lift that up because that mist is just going up a bit. There we are. Knock some of that off. And then, oh, let's come back to our palette knife and we'll put another little mountain top in here. Just a little one. There we go. Take some of our ivory black and this one is just going to come up right here. Not too big, this one, right there. Pull it down into your painting, there we go. And what you're doing when you pull that into your painting, that separation is created with that mist you have back there and then this rock face that you have here. So let's come back. Now we're just going to go to a dry brush. We got a dry brush here and we're just going to pull this down at the bottom. Pull this down into your painting. Take it this way or that way. There we go. There we are, and let's do another one of those little highlights just on those rock faces. Just give it some personality. Just grabbing some of that light, that light color up there. There we go. There we are. Maybe take a bit of that dark and we'll give some distinction on that back side of the mountain. And you can use your palette knife in different ways. You can do different techniques here. You can use this just to put in some deep shadow areas. Lots of ways you can use that. Not just one way. Lots of different ways. And maybe even just put some shadows, some deep spots on the front of this mountain right there. Just where that light might not be hitting. There we go. Now let's come back again. Let's grab our blender brush. And we're just going to do the same here. We're just going to blend some of this out. Blend that out. Just rolling it in, rolling it in.
knock some of the paint off as you're picking it up. Oh, and we we grabbed some, but that's okay. That's okay. We just roll it back in and get some of those hairs off there that are collecting. Seem to be collecting there. That's okay. You just bring that in. That's more mist. More mist in the misty mountains. And you see, we're just using these two colors. We're just using two colors today. That's all we're doing. Just our black and our white. Just making this painting. There we go. And we just roll that around, create that mist. There we go. Now, we could sit there, you could put more peaks in, you could have one further back if you wanted, but maybe we'll just switch to some trees for right now. All right, and so I've got my fan brush here. Now I'm just going to go, we're just gonna go into some of our ivory black. And right back here, we're gonna say, oh, maybe there's a hill that's a little bit closer actually. So it kind of frames this in. Those are way off in the distance. And maybe, maybe we have this hill here and there's trees on this hill. So we'll just drop this in. Just really load up that, that ivory black on there. Just using the fan brush for right now. And we're just bringing this hill down this way. All we're doing. This one is off in the distance too. And we'll put some mist in front of this guy as well. So if it gets a little hazy at the bottom, that's okay. Just drop it in. And it gets down here and you're losing some of that paint, that's okay. It's just fading off, fading off into the distance. There we go. Now, if you don't have, if you don't have one of those blender brushes, I want you to know, you don't have to worry about that. We still have our two inch brush here. Let's clean that off just a little. Still had some paint on that. Okay, so now we're gonna come up and we're just going to make this, we're gonna make this misty here at the bottom. We do that just by tapping. Because when you tap this on, we had that, we already had that liquid white or that magic white down and that's coming through. As we tap this, it's just gonna bring that through and it makes it look like there's many trees here, but some of them are just covered in mist. Just bring that right like that, there you go. So you don't need one of those blender brushes. Those are just kind of fun. It's just a bit of a, a different way to go about your painting. But you see there, you just knock that in and it just creates that mist. Just kind of makes it look like there's some trees back there, but your vision is just a little blurred. Just by that, by that fog, by that mist. And then you can even come back, knock some of the paint that you may have picked up, the lighter paint, Come back to your ivory black. Come back here and you can do some sharper trees right at the top here, right over the top. Put some of those in, just making a sharp point on your fan brush. Just squiggling that in, loading it up. And then you just come and you put in these 
vines where these trees are. Just a few reaching up right out of that mist. There we go. Now, as I said, these misty mountains, oh boy, were they important. Were they important in our story? They were. So you've got that. You got some that starts to get lost down here in the details. And you just, you just start dropping in. Just start dropping in some trees in here. Some of them will reach down. Some are just popping up out of the mist. That's what they're doing. So we've got that. Now you can even give some detail on these. Once you have that line there, you come just back and forth. Just give that. There you go. And you see what we're doing is we don't have to do that to every tree. Just a few trees. But you can see more details on just back and forth. Just with the corner of that brush. Those are just the trees that are popping out. There we go. Now, if you do have more colors and you want to do this in other colors, you can do this with a, a sap green you can put in there. You can do this with a sap green. You may want to darken it up a bit, though. You could put that touch of color in there. Just back and forth to create those branches. There we are. Very simple. Very simple technique. There you go. And you see it just makes it through there. Come down. Maybe add another. Just give yourself a line and then go off that line. Just zigzag back and forth. There we go. There we go. So we have that, have that there. Maybe put some down in here. These are just off in the background. Lost in that mist. There we are. Maybe I see this one popping up here. That one needs some leaves on there too. Some branches. This one here. There we are. There we are. Now, if you maybe you want to make the forest a blaze, you throw in a red and some oranges in there. And oh, we may have to do that. The desolation of smog. That's right. All right. Let's. Now we're gonna. We're really gonna start throwing in some. Some trees. There we go. Now we've got our clean, dry two inch brush and we're really going to come down and we're going to fill up this whole bottom space with some trees there. So we just come to this, just really load up that ivory black on your brush. We're just making this, just filling this bottom. So we come, just use that side of the brush and you're going to be picking up some of the white that's down. Once you get that, put some of those in there and then you just come. We're just filling this bottom here. Just filling that with our black. If you pick up some white there, turn that around so you can see it. You pick up some of that white, just come. Just knock some of that off your brush. Come back, load it back up and you can try and sharpen that edge. This is an old dull this is an old dull two inch brush. If you have a new one, you can make it a little more sharp. But once you do it, 
if you want to be a little more careful, you just come in. Well, I was trying to be careful and it didn't even give me that sharp of an edge. That's just because this is a dull brush. As I said, you just bring these down. We want to fill up this bottom, just filling it with trees. That's all we're doing. All we're doing there. That's why I did a few different piles of this ivory black, just because I knew we would use a lot of it down here. And you see that's automatically making that tree shape. Just run it up and down, there we go. Looks like you're putting in branches there. Maybe one comes up a little higher there. Just go back, load up paint onto there, just get it on. There we go. And you could even do, if you wanted to do some water down here, you know, say there was some water right down here. We can do that. We can do that. Let's do that. We'll just say there's some water right there. So let's clean off this brush, or we'll come back to it. We're gonna put some more in. That's right, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why do you even listen to old Timbo? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you should be listening to old Timbo. Let's pop that on, make it dark, darker in some areas. There we go. Just put those in. That's all we're doing, just using Kind of a brush on an angle like that. Just popping those trees in, it makes you look like, oh, you have a million trees there. There we go. Just with that two inch brush, you can do amazing things. You can do amazing things with that. There we go. And just that easy, that easy we're putting those in. Now, I might get a little too excited and start putting too many in. Don't do that. Don't be like Timbo and put too much in there. And then down at this bottom, you may want to just fill in those spots there. Very dark down here. There we go. And I'm painting the bottom of my easel right there. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So it gives you those trees all over. So I said we'd come back and we'd make this. We'd just turn that into some water there. Maybe there's an old mountain lake right there. Now we've got our brush. Clean, dry, two inch brush. Well, it's not too clean, but clean enough. Clean enough. So all we're gonna do to make this water is we're just gonna pick a spot. This will be our shoreline. We just grab it and pull it straight down. There we go. We're gonna come over this way. There we go. Hadn't even planned on doing a lake like that, but, and you might say, oh, Timbo, that doesn't even look like a lake. That doesn't look like a lake. Well, let's clean this off. Let's clean this off. And let's make some mountain water, and then you can make some ale out of that. That's right. So we've got this. These are just our reflections of the trees. And what we do is we just pull it right like this. There we go. And that gives us a reflection on this cloudy, cloudy day. Easy as that, easy as that. Now we've got a lake up there. Now we can come back to our fan brush. 
Oh, and say we want to put a little shoreline there. We just come in. We can do this. Hopefully I'm not in your way. We just put in some land right there. There we go. And that just comes up this way. So you see nothing to it. Just a simple little painting we did with just two colors. Didn't even know what we were doing. Didn't know we were going to do this. And we can come down here. Just fill that in. There we go. Maybe, maybe there's some trees that round this lake. Let's just come. There we go. That's what we'll do. We'll put some trees right in front here. There we go. It's like we've just found something that was hidden there. Just found something hidden. And if you want to do a purposeful tree, you can put a tree right in here like this. Just put its trunk. Come back, load up that paint, and then we're just going to zigzag that evergreen tree. There we go. There we go. Put this guy right in front of everybody. Let's get some more. Let's really load up the paint for this guy. He comes right out like that. There we go. There we are. And that's it. Easy as that. If you want to take some more time and you want to come back and you want to make these trees a little more purposeful, bring them up to a peak like that. And then you just take that corner of the brush, starting at the top, just zigzag down, giving you your evergreen trees. There we go. There we go. You could do that all day long. That's a simple and easy painting with just two colors. That's all there is. Two colors and we used oh one, two, three, maybe four brushes or three brushes and a palette knife. Who knows? I wasn't keeping track. I, you can look at the video and you can see what I did. But I hope you like that. Just the misty mountains that are our hobbits and our dwarves and our elves. They go on many, many adventures in these mountains. They fill the stories. Stories, stories, new stories and old stories. And they're there for you to create your own stories right there on the canvas. You can go back and you can add, you can add maybe some trees in here, right back here. Maybe there's some trees that stick up out of that mist. There we go, right there. You can add a bunch of those in wherever you want. That's right. It's your story. You put it on the canvas the way you see fit. I just hope, I just hope you see old Timbo's paintings and you think, you know what? If old Timbo can do it, I definitely can do it. So pick up those paints and try. All right. I appreciate it. I appreciate you joining me. Now remember, if you do want to pick up any of the prints or maybe a t-shirt at Timbo Took saying no taters for haters, those sorts of fun things, you can find those at TimboTook.com. Now, I'll leave you for the rest of the week. I hope you have a great week, and I hope to see you back here next week. Goodbye, and God bless.